Hello and welcome, my name's Andrew and currently I'm going through a bit of a training course on Affinity Photo for the iPad, teaching you some tricks, some tips, certainly how I use Affinity Photo on the iPad. In this video we're going to be looking at gestures or shortcuts really in Affinity Photo. We're going to be looking how to undo, redo, zooming in, zooming out, rotating, bringing up a sub menu, selecting layers, multiple layers, grouping layers, ungrouping layers, scaling in different ways to scale and one or two others. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm just going to go into Affinity Photo on the iPad. It only takes a few seconds to load up. And I'm going to click into a document that I pre-made. So inspired by my friends Marty and Doc here from Back to the Future, I thought I'd do this topic around Back to the Future. And if you're curious to know, Back to the Future is also my favourite film. So there you go, there's a bit of information you, you maybe didn't want to know, but you've got it anyway. So let's crack on. So I'm just going to design this in a way that looks a wee bit better. I've simply just tapped on that layer. If you tap on a layer, it will highlight it. So that saves you going up to the Layer Studio and clicking the layer. If you just tap on it, that's a nice wee shortcut. I'm just going to bring that up. I do realise this is Back to the Future 2 and this here photo is Back to the Future 1. That's all right. We'll not, we'll not worry too much about that. I'm just dragging my finger to snap it into place. And I'm going to click again on this layer and bring it down. Sometimes you use the pen, pencil for this. Sometimes you use my finger and uh, just tap out just so there's no borders and I can see it. And that's looking that's looking quite nice. When it comes to gestures, gestures are brilliant. They're actually a bit, quite a bit of fun on Affinity Photo. If I decide I don't like that for whatever reason, undo is simply two taps of the finger on the screen. And if you press it several times, you can actually go right back to where we were at the start. If you do three fingers on the screen, that is a redo. So that will just hopefully take us right back to where we were just a few seconds ago. So two fingers is undo, three fingers redo. If we pinch in, we can actually pinch in to the photo. And what this is doing, this is simply just zooming in. This is just zooming into the picture. If we pinch out, that will then zoom out. It's not changing the canvas size, it's just simply changing the, or it's not changing the canvas dimensions. It's just simply zooming in and out. It's as if you were holding a bit of paper closer to yourself just to see what's happening. So pinching in and out. You can use two fingers to rotate. So simply two fingers rotates it. And you can even pinch in and out while rotating. If for any reason you're not able to rotate the canvas like this, simply hit the back or home button. Go to the settings, down to tools and simply put this on allow canvas rotation in all tools and that will allow us to do what I was just doing there. So we'll click back into this. So that is rotating the canvas. If you want to move, we can simply use the hand tool and with one finger move about the canvas. If we're say with the move tool here and we're, we're moving about this and say we put it, well, I don't like it there. So two fingers. If we're not in the hand tool, if you simply use two fingers, you can drag, you can drag the document about. So you don't need to put your, you don't need to click on the hand tool with one finger. If you're in a different tool, whatever tool it may be, you can use two fingers and it will move the canvas, which is another nice wee technique. Again, one finger, quite often you'll see me do that. If there's a layer selected, you've got the blue box around it. Sometimes I like just one finger on the screen that deselects the layer and then I can just see what I'm working on. Another quick gesture is if we hold down one finger, a wee sub menu will come up where you can undo, duplicate, delete, cut, copy. At the minute, if we are selected on the image and we hold down one finger, we can simply just duplicate that layer and then we can move it around. For this purpose, we don't want two logos, so we'll just click it again and hit delete. It's more useful really when you start making selections. If I go into the selection persona and for whatever reason, I want to do a square like that and move it about and then I realize, say I'm thinking of masking or doing something with it. Oh, I don't want that. Just one finger deselect. So this menu will change depending what tool you're in. So I'm just going to go back to the photo, 
persona. So next up, when we come to scaling, we can simply scale using the pencil or my finger. So any corner, two fingers again done, undo, any corner will scale it. But if we hold one finger down, let me set my pencil down. If we try to scale and then use one finger, that will not scale it proportionally. And you can see when the, we can do some mad stuff there. So again, two fingers. If we try to scale it and use two fingers, it will scale from the center of the image, or in this case, the logo, which is really, really nice. Two fingers to undo. If we try to scale and use three fingers, it will scale from the center. And again, it won't scale proportionally. We can do lots of do lots of mad stuff, but again, two fingers just to bring it back where we were. If I want to rotate the logo or any image, you'll see at the top of it, there's a wee white circle. Simply hit that circle and we can rotate it as much as we want. If we hold one finger down the screen while doing this, it will snap it and it will only rotate it in 15 degrees segments which is also quite nice. Let go, goes back to free transform rotation and one finger and it will snap it in 15 degrees. Then if we come into the layer studio, you can see that the logo is selected at the minute. If I want to select everything, just simply swipe and all the layers will now be selected. And then to deselect, say just the, the middle one there, the courthouse picture, if I swipe it now, the bottom two pictures will be uh, selected. Again, just to swipe everything off, nothing selected. Click once to select one image and then just drag to select everything. A quicker way to select everything here, if we select the first layer and then hold down with two fingers, on the, on the last layer, the bottom layer there, you'll see that everything is selected. So we'll just do that again. I'll just tap the first image. And then if I want to select everything, instead of, we can swipe them all like that. Or two fingers will select everything. It's maybe not that important when there's only three layers, but if there's tons and tons of layers, that's a very good tip. Now, I'm going to be talking more about layers in a video coming up. But we can group layers if we select the layers and hit group. We're now in a group and then two fingers. We're just going to undo that. There's another way to make a group. If we just pinch these three layers together, sometimes that's a wee bit fiddly, but it is easier when you've got more, more layers to pinch them all together and then pinch out to split the group open again. Another way to duplicate a layer, which is really handy if we move it while having two fingers on the screen and duplicates and that's, that's really handy. So just go to move hit two fingers, move, two fingers, move. Oh, so you can see how that's another very handy way to duplicate a layer. There is other gestures we will be learning as we go on, but just, just one final one. If we go into the color studio, you can see we've got a black color and a white color. If we simply just swipe, those two things will switch. So we'll make that red, switch, then make that blue. Just simply, simply switch and they'll switch between the two. If for any reason you don't want any color, just flick up. And that will not pick a color at all. So that's quite handy too. And I think that's going to do us for this video. So there you have it. There's going to be more gestures. There's going to be more shortcuts we're going to be learning as the videos progress, but really they involve going into different tools. So I'm leaving some of them until we reach those tools. Please feel free to like this video. Please subscribe. That would mean a lot. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed so far. I hope you're enjoying the train. There's much, much more to come. Feel free to leave a comment also. I read and respond to every comment. So if that's something you want to do, maybe make suggestions of what videos or what training you would like on a Finley photo, and I'll add that to the list too. The next video coming out in two days time is how I use the pen tool. We're going to be diving deep into using the pen tool on a Findy photo, cutting out some objects and uh, a few tips and a few tricks that I use when compositing photos. So uh, please feel free to click that. That should be coming up there. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.